the tattoo numbing company all right this is uh fred here and i'm going to show you the results of uh my 13th session but before i do i want to talk about the numbing creams that i use from worst to best uh numb master this is the worst one i would not recommend this i mean if this is the only thing you can get is better than nothing um i also use this during this one's actually pretty good it's called bactine and it's got uh uh it's got it's got lidocaine it's four percent uh, but it's a spray so it doesn't really soak in as much as the gel this one is actually pretty good this one's uh it's called lidocaine blast and i'd say probably this is uh definitely better than the other two i just showed and by far these two if if uh put on properly um this one is painless tattoo and this is tattoo numbing the uh, tattoo numbing company both of these if you use with saran wrap um there's there's times where i almost don't feel anything it's like uh getting uh getting a shot from the dentist I, I, like most of it goes numb i mean there's some still some areas you're going to feel no matter what because a laser is more painful than actually getting tattooed but i thought i'd share that information and here's another thing i didn't realize at first when i first started i've used numbing creams pretty much since the uh since the first session but i didn't wrap it in saran wrap until i i bought these two products and then they had an informative video of how to wrap it in saran wrap for an, about an hour before you use it and then once you get it, you're gonna have a lot of, uh, you're gonna feel a lot of the numbing effects. But anyway, uh, now that that's over with, um, let me give you an update of my uh, tattoo. <clears throat> let me see, oh, my, right? So now you can see uh, it has really gotten lighter. I'm, I'm also waiting, ooh, a lot longer between sessions, but let me just show you. Uh, okay, the back, and you can see the contrast between the only part of the tattoo that I liked and decided to keep versus the other, let me, let me even get a little closer. I like it that, right? And you see, I still got some green. And like I said, this this tattoo and part of this, these were both, this was a cover up. And then when I was doing the cover up, um, I had him go over the black and the green again. So this has twice the amount of ink. So that's why it's taking longer than the rest of the tattoo to remove. And, and I think green is one of the harder colors to remove anyway, but it's still working, it's still coming off, and it's gonna get light enough until I get that removal. But anyway, look at, uh, I'll come back a little bit. All right, and that's about it. Um, God, I don't know if, I, I, I still might take some pictures and might do a comparison in this video, um, but I promise I will be a lot quicker now that the holidays are over. Um, I'll be uh, definitely a lot quicker on the next video because, like I said, I'm going to do my 13th uh, session tomorrow. And once again, the 12th session, I'll give you another look. But, yeah, it's definitely working. I think it's almost light enough to get a cover-up. I mean, it, de it definitely is. But since I recorded these videos, I want to go almost all the way to the end. I, I think I'm going to give it two more sessions. So 15, and then you guys can decide if you want to use this, uh, uh, the neat cell. But, there we go. Yeah, it's definitely getting lighter. I mean, look at in contrast. Look at that tattoo, which is a 20 year old tattoo. And but anyway, um, until then, if you uh, please uh, subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Talk to you guys later.